Yeah. It's a glamorous life we live. Is it? Yeah. I bet Cam Haynes doesn't have to plunge his own toilets. Cam probably has his own toilet plunger person hired. Yeah. A little bit of time. It is going? Okay. But then it fills right back up again and it's completely clogged. I already plunged the hell out of it. Yeah, I was trying to grind a prototype knife, but apparently our shitter is plugged. I even got water splashed on my pant leg because I really got after the plunging a little bit. So luckily I have a friend that sucks shit uh, for a living. And so he's gonna come out here, shout out to Sweet Pea. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a giant turd. I don't know if it's um, some of my employees bags of weed that they tried to flush or if it's tampons, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna review the cameras. I'm gonna hold those people accountable. Fired. And, oh, and we have a Magna Cut Super. Somebody took a Magna shit is what happened. Or was it you? Did you? What are you talking about? You are completely uncalled for right now. All I want to know is, did you change your shirt so that you could work harder in the bathroom? Yeah, nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. Work harder at plunging the toilet. I bet Cam Haynes doesn't have to plunge his own toilets. Cam probably has his own toilet plunger person hired. So we're assembling stone walls right now. We've just been doing a bunch of them. Um, we're attempting to go in stock full time with these. It's one of our most popular knives, I think for a really big reason. I've used these for a lot of stuff. Um, skinning out deer and also some sort of like bushcrafty stuff. They're just a really nice, well-rounded knife. They've got a big solid handle, lots to grab onto, a little bit thicker blade than the rest of our knives. So they can just handle a lot and they have that nice, big belly so you can skin, but also enough tip that you can still get underneath skin and do some fine work. So they're they're definitely one of my favorite knives that we make and uh, I'm excited for them to go in stock. Uh, I have a lot of uh, restock apparel here. Uh, four, four palettes to be exact, two of which are hoodies. The other two are all t-shirts, a couple of our oldies but goodies, and then uh, some, new, some new apparel that we're pretty excited about. So. Can you say anything about it? I will say that they will look familiar but different. <laughs> We're gonna break out of our traditional black color. We'll say that. Well, Randy uh, trains labs, breeds and trains lab Labrador Retrievers, and Ellie's out of actually Randy's brother's dog and his his stud dog. So Randy's had Ellie this summer uh, and some and some last summer working on training her for bird hunting just because I know I wouldn't have time with how busy things are. So we're getting her getting her dialed in and getting ready for duck season coming up, duck and geese and, uh, and some pheasants. Pheasant hunting will be fun. So. Yeah, it's exciting. Well, I'm, I'm Randy Hunegard. I've uh, labs are it. I've been training and raising labs for uh, 45 years now. And uh, Ellie here is uh, a nice young dog that uh, I'm starting to do some uh, what they call pile drills, line drills, uh, baseball drills with the overs and stuff on them. What I'm going to do is put three of these bumpers. You go ahead and hold them there. And I'm going to toss them right out here. 
put them right out there like that. We're going to run some uh, marks down here, uh, and then I'll run into that blind after we do the mark retrieve. Is is something the dog sees go down, and uh, blind retrieve is one that she doesn't see put down. Now she's not ready for ones just out in the uh, tall grasses and stuff yet, and everything. This is the foundation to get that done. We're right down there by your clump of trees. Okay. No, sit. You stay. Stay. Hey, hey, toss one identical to that spot right there. And then turn and throw one all the way over here towards your little tree on the hillside. Okay. okay. Anyway. Right here, Ellie, right here, right here, right here, right here. Good girl. Good. Sit. Sit. Okay, the mark. Ellie. Good girl. Right here, right here. Right here. Good. All the way. Good girl. Good. Good. Now we'll do the blind retreat. Unless you want to be wet. Yeah, they, we, we're let all out there, run down, jump in the river. Thanks for having us here. Uh, my name is Josh Smith. This is Brandon, my business partner. Um, you know, three years ago, we didn't even have a company. We just launched this uh, back in COVID year 2020. Uh, we've been growing, a bunch of our team is here tonight, and uh, it's an honor to, to grow a company and then be able to give back. And uh, we made this year about conservation. We're just a few years old. We hope to keep doing more and more. And so we got together with these guys. We did a t-shirt. You see them back on the, uh, on the table back there. Uh, our, our artists with our company came up with an amazing uh, Sheep Foundation logo. And we started selling those on our website, donating the proceeds. And so the first round of that, which I will say, those shirts are gonna stay on our website live for pretty much forever. And we're gonna continue donating these proceeds from that. So this is just the first check of just a little over 9,000 bucks from that. For a giveaway right now, Henry. His favorite this is, knife I've ever This is Brett's favorite knife. He's told me about 17 times. <laughs> is this the giveaway? There it is. <laughs> Gosh, my second stone wall. No, these are uh, honestly, these really are my favorite knives. I've had this one for gosh probably two and a half years now uh, since long before I've ever worked at MKC. It's uh, the Stonewall Skinner and you have the belly on the blade right here so you get more surface area as you're skinning but honestly man the blade thickness and just the size of the handles and just the balance of the knife in general like it truly it's it's perfect for me um for when it comes to skinning animals it works great um deboning animals it gives you something to grab onto really allows you to get down there into the, the joints and you know, it's just, it's been a great knife for me and you can have one too because we're giving this one away. All you got to do is, oh, damn, I, I forgot the thing too. You have to like this video, comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel and our email list and you can win the Stonewall Skinner.